Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're going to have a look at what is going on in your connection. Alright. Taurus, uh, you're dealing with someone out here who's been holding back communication a lot. Alright. I feel things are very stuck and stagnant between you guys. And uh, this person here doesn't seem to reach out, okay? Even though they are desperate to. Even though they want to. Uh, I feel this person here is internally very conflicted. Okay, they don't know which way to go. External conflicts, okay, could be someone here who needs, who feels the need to compete for you. Okay, maybe you have someone in the background already. Or they just feel that there's too much drama and chaos if they communicate with you. Or they're just trying to run away from some kind of arguments or some kind of clarification here. Or there's just, a, you know, a fight between their head and heart. I feel you're dealing with someone here who wants to commit to you, okay? Silently, they're committed to you, okay? Uh, no, honestly, that's not bullshit. Why I say that a silently commitment, okay, is because this person here knows who they want. They want you, okay? So they're just too slow. Why? Uh, because you're dealing with someone here who does not give so much priority to their love life or you as much as you give it to them, okay? I feel you're dealing with someone here whose love life is not a priority, which makes you... Uh, not a part of their priority. Money, career, finance, responsibilities. They could be very boring. Also, I feel this person here is a very uh, routine person, okay? Very structure-oriented person. Very slow and steady, okay? And that's what they feel. Slow and steady wins the race. So even though this person here wants to commit to you, okay? They wants to move things forward like quick, 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 okay? There is the sense of loss that they have, okay? This person here does know that they lost someone who they really, really deeply loved. So that energy, okay, that realization that I've lost someone, okay, who trusted me a lot and who um, I was very much in love with, I let this person go, or things just destroyed between us, okay. So I feel there's a very strong sense of disappointment that this person has. And the problem here is that they're still dwelling on it. They have a hundred percent clarity that you're the one that they want. And this is something that they want to tell you also. But it's their slow moving nature, all right, which is probably making you feel like, you know what, that's never happening. This person just screwed around with me and they just messed with me and there was nothing that they really wanted. Let's clarify. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, this person here, so I feel that there's definitely been an ending between you both, okay? And even though there's been an ending out here, for a lot of you, honestly, nothing's changed. Changed in a way where if you feel that this person didn't love me before and now they love me or, you know, uh, they didn't want to commit to me, now they want to commit to me, no. I feel you're dealing with someone here who always wanted to commit to you. <laughs> someone out here who always wanted you, okay? But they were just very scared to jump in okay they're not like your impulsive knight of wands out here you're dealing with someone here who's a slow coach okay this is someone who is painfully slow okay this is somebody who takes their own sweet time now they want to start a new beginning with you again okay they want to take a leap of faith all right and they want to start all over again what's the five of cups but yeah what's the five of cups what's the five of cups yeah, so the disappoint disappointment out here is what is stopping this person from taking action. You know how sometimes we feel like, oh, you know what, that's just over and done with. It's, 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 it's long gone, all right? Taurus is never taking me back or Taurus and me can never have what we had before. That disappointment that they're dwelling in right now is stopping them from making a move towards you or stopping them from making any movement, okay? They're not being able to change their perspective right now because they're in that low place right now, all right? Which is why things are stuck and stagnant. What's the Ace of Swords? <clears throat> yep. The communication is delayed, like I said, right? Even though they want move, to move things pretty forward and pretty quickly towards you, but the communication is delayed out here. The clarity is there. They have the clarity out here, okay? Because yes, they do see that there was a clear-cut ending between you both. But they want to take their own time. They're in no rush to communicate. Again, why? Because they have no... They're not sure if you're going to take them back. Because somewhere, somehow, they feel you as pulling away from them. You know, you've completely withdrawn your nurturing, caring energies. You've withdrawn that investment from this person out here. So even though there is 100% clarity about what they need to do and what they should do, the move is still not being made because they feel it's over. Okay. All right, let's see. Now, you on the other side out here, I do feel that you have stopped investing into this person. Your focus is more on your career, your finances, your goals. You're choosing to focus on your well-being. Uh, a lot of you are choosing to move on from this person, okay? It's like you're so closed off to even communication from this person. Even if this person tries to communicate, you're closed off. 
this is what the problem is. This is the vibe that they're getting from you, okay? Where even if they feel that they try to speak to you, you know, or they try to apologize, or even if they say a small hi to you, either you're going to be non-responsive, or you're just going to shut them off, or you're just going to backfire, or you're just going to block them. They are feeling that vibe from you, where you are just blocking their ass off, all right? We're flat out. Clap for the eight of swords in reverse. So you're releasing yourself from this person, okay? Any kind of negative thoughts, any kind of situation that you felt stuck for a very long time. Eight of swords in reverse. You're releasing yourself because you feel that there's a lot of fish out there in the sea and this is not the only person you should feel stuck to. Eight of swords in reverse. Yeah. The waiting game is over, right? It's like you're done. That's it. I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting. You may feel that this person out here is screwing around with other people, but that's not the case. The case is their method, you know, their approach towards you, okay? It's like they're just like slow, okay? Very slow, snail pace slow, okay? In a way where they're not even moving their ass, you know, making a move. Plus, cherry on the cake is no communication is what I'm getting here. So that's even more painful, all right? So you feel this was a waste of time. A lot of you feel this was a waste of investment, time, energy. And I feel there is low to no investment from your side, okay? I don't think you're even watching them on social media anymore, spying or something. It's just more like, okay, that, that that's done and dusted. You've stopped manifesting this person because you probably feel that this person is manipulative or uh, you just don't feel you have everything that you need to make it happen between them anymore. Three of Pentacles. <laughs> you could be talking to new people. Three of Pentacles. Maybe you still want to, yeah. I feel for a lot of you, you want this person to put in the effort, okay? You want them to make the move first. You're ready to put in the effort provided they are ready to take action. They are ready to make that first move because you are not making that move towards them no matter what happens. And I feel that's the clarity that you have. That is the sure, sure clarity, like 100% truth and clarity in your head. No more thinking emotionally, thinking logically. You make the move towards me and I'll put in the work. I'll still, I'm still ready to put in the work. But if you don't take action towards me, nothing's happening from my side. And you're pretty sure about it, you know? It's like dead sure. What's the two of swords? Two of swords. Yeah. You're closing yourself off to a connection where... Once upon a time, it was something that you wanted, like a fairy tale, okay? You wanted your happily ever after with this person, okay? This is a situation here that brought you a lot of happiness once upon a time. But something's draining you out now. It's that situation is either not making you happy at all, or you just feel it doesn't hold that importance in your life, okay? Which is why you're being closed off now. You know, I think you kind of kept on dreaming about this person, kept on fantasizing and, you know, daydreaming, having wishful thinking that you and them, you know, it's like together forever. But um, it's almost like I'm hearing loving you was a losing game is what I'm getting. Okay, it's like it wasn't any point. So it's like for you, it's like you make that move because I'm losing hope. And if you don't make that move, all right, good for you. But there is no move from your side for sure. They're not making a move because they feel you won't accept them back. You're not making a move because you feel this person's just a waste of time. They're not making any move towards you. So they probably never valued you that much. Now, as the outcome out here, I do feel that there is a lot of confusion here eventually. A situation is creating more confusion than it should be. I feel this person out here is going to continue manifesting a new opportunity with you. Okay, but this is again, this is um, <coughs> manifestation. But uh, there is something that creates, again, that internal cloud conflict in their head, which is keeping them closed off still. What's the magician? What's the magician? They are trying their best to create the, and manifest the reality that they want, okay? Clarify the, the magician. Yeah. Holding back. They know that they need to talk. They want to talk to you. For a lot of you, this person is already married to you. For a lot of you, this person, sorry. For a lot of you, this person is already married to you. Or this person is already married. For the others of you, this person wants a commitment with you. Okay, but I feel here that even though they're manifesting you silently, they're not telling you about it. So Taurus, for a lot of you, you feel this person's not interested because there's just no move from their side. But that's that's a, that's a facade. That's just a lie. Five of Wands. What's this conflict about? Five of Wands. Yeah, see, this person here is in two minds right now. Should they give up? 
on this connection because some of them feel it's a failed long distance relationship for the others of them they're conflicted should they stop waiting and should they approach you so their tone okay their tone in their head because there is no movement right your side there's side, no movement out here this person here does want to heal the connection that's for sure they want a reconciliation out here but it's like the waiting period is getting too much and i feel somewhere somehow this person here is feeling like maybe they're being overly optimistic okay what's the four of pentacles four of pentacles four of pentacles yeah this person here is at a crossroads okay they're feeling left out they feel lonely they feel isolated they feel abandoned by you this person could have abandonment issues but the reason they're closed off is because they're at a crossroads this person needs to make that choice i feel for a lot of you if you want commitment from this person they're very very close to giving that to you i don't feel i don't give a vibe where this person's you know uh uh, wanting to choose another direction i feel they want to take a new direction which is coming towards you they are if you guys are in separation which i'm getting for a lot of you which if you guys are in a long distance relationship they're choosing or waiting for an approach of which is the best way to bring this uh relationship which is the best way to get this uh to you know uh dis absolutely remove the distance between you both and take the next step with you okay but i'm getting a very positive feel um I do feel for a lot of you here, this person here may eventually stop to wait and they will reach out to you, all right? But you do you, you're doing well out here, okay? A little more time so that they can digest that things are not that over between you both. I feel this person will eventually reach out. They will reach out. But yes, that waiting period again, guys. If you're okay to wait, they will come back around and they will give you something more stable. But that doesn't mean that you stop living, right? You can keep doing you. And it'll come to it'll come towards you at the right time because I'm getting temperance here. You know, I got temperance twice, which means that there is something where divine is at work. Okay, and something is gonna happen at the right time for you. All right, so don't worry about that. Bye bye.